turned out we'd all had exactly the same dream, and which was the concept of mentalism. We, it was like a plan laid out before me. It was, it was so vivid. I could see it all. There was diagrams, pictures. I could even smell it. Um, so we all got together the next day over a, a, a veal, a slab of veal, and, and said we have to do this thing. And tonight it's, it's, it's reached fruition. Using um, a combination of uh, special records and projections and uh, various paintings of very interesting cartoons, we uh, hope to create a mentasm in the entire crowd. Mentasm. This, this, is, this is someone that exhibiting the, the early signs of a mentasm. Note the uh, curling smoke being emitted, drooling and general bendiness. It should affect you beginning around this area and then slowly rise up. Make the collars flutter up the neck and then explode in the ecstasy of cartoonic orgasmic feelings. Yes, fantastic. It's one of the first um, historically recorded mentasms happened um, in Pompeii. A lot of people think that Pompeii was destroyed by uh, a, a volcano. Putting bulbous heads on space alien babies and making it quite obvious that that's exactly what you should be doing with yourself then you've got the going for a good night. Tonight we'll, tonight we'll, we'll probably have about um, four to six hundred people here but with the clever use of mirrors it'll look more like two thousand. We've had a lot of trouble before with Disney trying to nick our idea so we'll, we've called in we've got an incredible friend of ours called Balka who's a laser technician and he's managed to wangle. He got all the guys pissed down at the workshop and he's wheeled out the um, spy satellite destroying laser we've got it rigged up in the back so if Disney do a pass their asses are dead. We've got a window between twelve and 12.05 to hit that Disney satellite. It's a Mickey-shaped explosion. The vibrations of which, when combined with the smoke, should, once passed into people's bodies, create the most thrilling and fantastic mentasm that they've ever experienced. Sick and twisted.